So, welcome to the first PFI Field Day of 2017. We're excited to host this series of cover crop field days and some grazing cover crop field days. And why we're here today is to talk about a project where we're actually looking at the soil health benefits and the economic benefits of grazing cover crops. I'm Megan Filbert. I'm the Livestock Coordinator at Practical Farmers of Iowa, and we're a nonprofit in Ames, Iowa. We do a lot of on-farm research and programming around cover crops and specifically grazing cover crops. A couple years ago, we were asked by the Pasture Project to be a partner on one of their on-farm demonstration trials. And this trial was trying to demonstrate the economic and soil health benefits of grazing cover crops. So the idea was to find crop land in Iowa that had never had cover crops on it before, and then to plant cover crops and then graze those cover crops to try to measure the soil health benefits and the economic benefits of those practices. So not only planting cover crops, but adding that element of grazing livestock to that system. We began by taking baseline measurements in June 2015. And to do that, we took, we used a penetrometer to take compaction readings. We also took a PLFA reading, um, which measures microbial biomass and microbial activity within the soil. And then we looked at how quickly water infiltrates in the soil and our standard fertility tests of the soil. We've come back every year in June to take those tests again, and we'll finish up in June 2017 with those tests and then com compile those results. We planted our first cover crop in early September, around September 10th. Um, flew that on with an airplane, flew that cover crop on, and then the farmers grazed for the first time in November around Thanksgiving and pulled their cows off in December. The cover crop then was still present over the winter, dormant, and then in the, in the spring, the cereal rye started growing back and the farmers we've worked with were then able to get another round of grazing in in the spring, usually late March into April before the cash crop farmer terminates with an herbicide to then plant corn or soybeans. We have a treatment field where we planted the six way cover crop mix and grazed it. And then we also have a control, a control field where it's only crops. We've not done any of the cover cropping or grazing. So we have these comparisons. This study is a little bit different than other study, studies we've done on farms because we're actually trying to quantify soil health benefits. And that is one of the hardest things to really quantify. That's, that's the value, the actual monetary value of grazing cover crops is something that's hard to estimate at this point. We can try to estimate how much money a farmer is saving in hay expenses when they're able to graze cover crops in the fall and the spring. That's pretty easy to estimate and measure, but changes in soil health are much harder to actually quantify. And that's what the study is really trying to get at.